Oh, you want to be on the set? Bounce. Well, you on the set. We be on fire. We be lit. Like this. It's a unique hustle. Big, big shit. No, she big good right there. Big, big shit. It's a unique hustle. Big, big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Walk on. Man, hey, man. We got a special guest in here today, y'all. Listen, yes, man. God always blessing me, man. I got this brother here, man. I, you know what, man? I I, I, I told y'all I was going to try to get him, didn't I? Yes, You know, did. once you got the motivator behind you, you say, oh, go get him. I'm like, I got to go get him. I'm going to lose everything. Hey. <laughs> Say it, man. Face all loves in the building, man. You said it's been working for 20 years, 20 right? years, yes, man. So, gotta but go. I got to do what I'm told, or else it ain't going to work, man. <laughs> hey, take out the trash. Oh, man. You don't do everything Say, that you're told. Yeah, hey, man, don't, listen. Don't start. It's a lot of chores in marriage, bro. Hey. Listen to me when I, I know from listen, experience. Listen, I, listen. I, I'm going to get married again. I don't know who this white woman going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, and, and hey, man, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, if if she hadn't been Jamaican, I probably wouldn't have done are you, it. Are you Jamaican? Yes, sir. Yeah, are you yeah. From Jamaica? Uh-huh, Kingston. Miss really? Jamaica. Mm-hmm. You were born under the clock? <laughs> oh, you're too young to know what that means. No, she said <laughs> under the clock. What is that? You got to ask the older people in Jamaica. You're I'll born, ask my mom. You're born under the clock. Oh, you're born downtown. Yeah. <laughs> You talking the clock downtown? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I like, know what you're talking about now. You're talking about one, you know? Mm-mm. You're talking about one, you know? one. Say you have a, hey, man, she, that's the biggest thing in our relationship when I, we watching the movie and somebody do a fake Jamaican accent, she like get it. upset. Hey, nah, that was pretty about? good to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who talk about the bang one now? <laughs> <laughs> Say, man, so. <laughs> wong, wong, wong. Say, man, listen, man. Um, so, man, look, man, I'm going to be honest. I've been watching you. I be watching Vlad. That's why I see you. At, <laughs> like, you got a whole. You just gave uh, one plug, man. <laughs> what happened right there? I don't know. Turn it back on. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, the thing is, man, so. When I see you, man, it's like, damn, man, how I didn't know how I was going to get you. I look said, I got to get him. I, I had this thing in my mind, like, if I can get the people that been dealing with Vlad, nigga, I might be on. You know? That's hilarious. <laughs> say, so. <laughs> so, I know you see my blowout the other week over here, man. Yeah, so. I went uh, viral, man, my first time going viral. You had to, yeah, you had to, you know, I, I. I'm surprised the homies didn't choke him out. I got nervous. I said, man. You wait. look nervous. You yeah, like, I was like, what the hell? How do I control this? I said, man, look, man, this is my podcast, man. You know, I started begging him to chill. I thought all this was going to be turned over. <laughs> <laughs> all this, this mic was going to be like this. <laughs> and I was standing right over here, my back to the wall, checking everything out. Yeah, like, she was like, uh. <laughs> homeboy was I was like, wow. So, so, I know you get these questions, though. Charleston White, man, uh. You've been watching him. You've been doing a lot of different uh, interviews, man. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's... <laughs> Listen, people talk uh, a lot of shit in a safe place. Mm-hmm. So I think that was... A, uh, the homie told me he, he came to California and then um, he walked around and everything. For three so, years. So I was like, uh, he's fascinated with the lifestyle, I think. Um, I think that's what it basically is. But like I said, that the lifestyle it's gotta be really in you and not on you. Yeah, it's it's a it's a thing that I couldn't ever really understand. Wow. From a kid, my, my family from up there. Yeah, but so, like I said, you say you gonna send somebody to get me like no you ain't <laughs> We will find that was it. funny to me, I man. See everything. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see everything moving around here. You sound like him. That's how he. Oh, that's, that's, that's you know what I'm saying. That's yeah, the part of the, you know what I'm saying. Well, we we know we've trusted before and been hurt. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, nowadays. <laughs> Mm-mm. He, don't, he don't stay over nobody. People be like, people. you ain't gonna stay with us. Do none of that. Nope. I don't do <laughs> none like, of that. Nope. I'm gonna eat and leave. I spend all the money out of town. She be like, oh, my brother, I don't care. I'm not going over there and no, stay. Not, I, I, even if his family, he going to Atlanta. Do I don't it's do it with nobody, bro. I stay with. They, they, have, they are far removed 
you know they don't know nothing about what's going mama, on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, or somebody, you know, but yeah, it, for me to stay at your crib, it's not. It take a lot. Yeah, yeah, I can't do it. You know, plus I, I, I got to get up like a grown man. Oh, I'll be up all through the night. They're going to be mad at me. I'm going to set the alarm off. Oh, that's happening. He want to get up and go when oh, he yeah. want to go, go, come in when he want to come. I want to go get a taco at 3 in the morning. There you go, I'm crazy. I don't want to have to be, oh, you got to put the code in. <laughs> <laughs> Knock on somebody's door. Can you let me in? Hey, y'all, what the key to the top lock? I want to do none of that. None shit. of that. I want to just slide my cart. And go in there, get my taco, come back. <laughs> so, uh, man, how, how's Dallas, man? So, uh, how's Love the Dallas. show, man? You, you killing it's, it? Dallas, man. We got a. First of all, we got you know some really good. We got Miss Amber. You guys saw Amber, mm -hmm. yes, sir. Uh, with her musty ass. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy. Comedy bay. She's hilarious. Yeah, She's for sure. I've been knowing for years. Yeah. I've been telling we was going to go on the road, so now we're putting it together for a bigger show um, this summer when all the COVID shit gets rid of us, so we're going to do theaters. Do you think it'll ever go away? <sighs> yeah, it's got to, because, you know, it's, it's going Put away. Put the timeline right. you, you guys, if you're not seeing it, but it's they're going, okay, the bullshit is... The, 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 okay, the bullshit's over. No, all these variants keep coming in. No, that's the bullshit they keep coming in. <laughs> you know, oh, we got the Tupac variant right now. We got the Charleston variant. Uh, if you notice, if you look at television, look at the the sports game. Mm -hmm. Nobody got a fucking mask on. At all. Even when we go to the grocery store or go anywhere, people are not worried. Oh, did you get your shot? Oh. Everybody's saying that they got their shot, but I guarantee you all these people haven't gotten their shot. Listen, somebody in this room got one. <laughs> look at you, look at you. That's a big divider there, boy. Her arm is fucked up. <laughs> Her feet hurting. <laughs> she can't wait to take them shoes off. I'm like, yo. Yeah, yeah that. If you look at, you know, the sports games and all that stuff, they, they people... You know what gave it away last year when um, Milwaukee won? Okay. If you look at, now this is pretty much still, we're in the thick of it, right? Milwaukee, there's 60,000 people outside. That's a lot. Not one of them motherfuckers had a mask on, and there was mm -hmm. no outbreaks. What that tell you? Mm, mm, mm. They never said, oh, the outbreak. Yeah, outbreak. We, have you really never, you hadn't seen lately a big outbreak nowhere. Listen. Since the beginning, and that's I, I had COVID early. And um, how did you? How did it do to you? What did it, it do to you? Fucked me up. It was fucked up. I it was fucked. It fuck, I thought I never smoked cigars again. I was it fucked me up. You but, you, you didn't have to go to the you you. Why do people go the, to the doctor? The last man? place you need to go <laughs> is where they got more COVID. Exactly. Why do niggas go to the doctor when they, they get? They, why? What they? I'm like, what are you doing? They, they, they gonna give me some soup? <laughs> <laughs> they, they have nothing for you there. Everybody said, how do I get over it? Grits. That's Man, it. I, I talked to Freeway when I was in L.A., and he was like, uh, I talked to this doctor, and he showed me the doctor, and the doctor said, you just need high, how would he say, high volume uh, vitamin, vitamin D. D. I said, but it really? was like real, real high volume. I'm like, he's like, the people calling him from the hospital saying, hey, uh, um, he said, how's your vitamin D level? Well, tell them to give you some vitamin D and they out the next day. I'm like, really? You telling the doctors what to do now? Because they, the doctors, there's a doctor that fixes you and a doctor that bring you along. <coughs> you ever seen the, the fat person go to the um, trainer? Yeah, yeah. And the trainer's like, okay, do five of these. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> he, they, that's his money. Exactly. The money can't go away. Once that person lose weight, he, he ain't got no job. He's screwed. So if he keep doing this bullshit, I'll see you next week. And the guy thinks he's getting better. He thinks he's getting skinnier. No. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like you got to do that shit on your own. But uh, they're not fixing you. I don't. I, yeah, yeah. I, I hadn't seen people But everything just, is just a money-making venture. Just like... Even um, with organics, they say eat organic everything. Right. But uh, how are you so sure it is really organic? Because it says organic on the package. But that's a hustle. I, I love a like, hustle. Like you, have all to that go shit's a hustle. <laughs> I love oh, it. Listen, the airport, right? Yeah. First class is always first class. That ain't good no more. Now they got clear. Mm. 
clear goes in the in the in the airport. You got to get to keep going, but going th straight through. I, First I bet I've got to wait. Yeah. So I'm like, well, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. So you just over Trump first class by adding this forty with this with the forty bucks, mm -hmm. like like you know like they can't afford forty bucks. Like, are you crazy? You know what I'm saying? Y'all looking around? What's going on? I don't know. He went over here. <laughs> That's the first time I done had anybody to go over here. No, they're this trying first not to be in the camera. They're trying not to I'm angle. Say, I said I ain't never had no. I've been doing this for a year now. That's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole show. Like, right this right nigga went in the corner. It's Muscat. I'm with you. I'm confused. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I make sure I'm out of the side, though. It's all good. <laughs> so, so, man, I'm trying to stay away from the questions everybody want to ask, like every interview. Most mm -hmm. niggas I interview be like, man, I ask the same questions every, every interview. I can't really stay away from them, huh? Well, I like to know. Like, <laughs> I like to go back. I like to know, as a child, were you always this funny? Uh, I, was, I was a bad kid. My father was funny. He was. My father tells some stories. I was like, we would just listen. What's the and, funniest story he ever oh, told? Oh, this nigga told. <laughs> <laughs> he tells this story every year about how he joined the Navy. Him and um, Johnny Boy uh, was fighting in Harlem. And the dudes got the whoop in their ass. And they was running. They kept running. And um, he ran... Him and Johnny Boy running, <coughs> and he, it was he ran to the um, naval, the naval, the Brooklyn Navy Yard, and he said, he said "I'm gonna join the um, Navy." Mm -hmm. He said, "Johnny," I said, "What Johnny Boy do?" I said, "He let, he went and he he, he, he joined the, the mil some shit. The way he did, I can't even tell the joke." <laughs> But the way he do it, oh, oh it's going in. Oh, but it's that's He's how he dramatic. joined the, 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 the. He went to Vietnam, running from, <laughs> running from, running from the. Uh, Somebody from, whooping his yeah, ass. Yeah, from a fight. Oh, Lord. Yeah. And ran into a fight. What? About, so you came up. Uh, you was born in San Diego. No. <laughs> yeah, you no. was born in San Diego. No, that's what I, I heard. Right? That's what we heard. No, no. I was, you I was in San raised, Diego? I was raised in San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> yeah. I'm so where were you born? Because the naval base, <laughs> not the damn naval base in San Diego. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Were you in the no, naval? I just know where no, I'm we go we, up there. We, 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 we be traveling, oh, man. I'm from, yeah, I'm from, I was raised in San Diego. We, yeah, it was, yeah, I was raised I love there. San Diego. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I like it better than L.A. I'm sorry. I love it better than L.A. It is. the beach is two different animals, right? Where the beaches are the beaches hang out. Yes, I like the beaches white sand beach. Yeah, the beaches in L.A. got a little urine on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, I remember the first time I went to L.A. Um, and, you know, you're looking for the beaches. And me from Jamaica, I'm looking for Jamaican oh, beaches in L.A. I've been dealing with this right? for a long time. So I, yeah. I'm in my swimsuit jumping, and I'm ready to jump in the water, and I'm like. Hell no. <laughs> Yeah. I realize why like people be wearing them suits. A, it yeah. is so freezing cold. It's cold. Yep. And I'm looking at everybody on the beach like, why is everybody laying on the beach in clothes? Oh it's no, it's a beach. But it's some people that'll jump in there. I seen them. What? <laughs> they call white people. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a damn. They, they, they would jump in crazy. that thing. No, listen. You go to the beach in LA and hang out on the boardwalk. You know, and, you know, or mm -hmm. walk up there. But in San Diego, you can actually go there, get in the water. Water's cold too, but sometimes it's warm. No, because I went in the water in San Diego. It was really, really nice. Yeah, I love it that atmosphere. Depends on what time of the season. We always go like July, August. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's some murky water down there too, but it's not like no, nah, it was Jamaica really, yeah. and you know all the Antigua, all that. It ain't like that. Out of but, all the places you've visited, what's the most beautiful place you've ever seen? It's got to be between Bora Bora and um, South Africa. What is it about those two places Ooh. that you love? Well, Bora Bora, you can literally see the bottom of the ocean. Really? Yeah. Like we're like a you, glass bottom. Like you go in a glass bottom boat and just look no, out. No, ain't gonna be no glass bottom. You look over the side, and depending on where you are, how deep deep it is, uh -huh. and you can see like the sandy bottom. Wow! Like really? sharks. Uh, I had some uh, friends. We went out. We were out there, and these motherfuckers decided they want to go scuba diving. Never took a damn lesson. Lesson. They just put the shit on and went <laughs> down there, and these sharks was just. And they swam with the sharks. They swam with the feeding the sharks. He's the happiest shark. I would ever. never. 
I'd be scared. You know, yeah. of them. Go, oh just, no, trust me. These, yeah, I was like, wow. they're friendly sharks. They said the shark is full. <laughs> <laughs> you niggas <laughs> fell for that. You <laughs> okay, were your friends white or black? They were white. They were white. Okay, he the one black that's guy white. with them more than I like. Boy, I said, somebody got to live to tell this. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going to believe me. They going to think I killed y'all. <laughs> man, man, so uh, acting, man. How'd you get into acting? Bro, you... I love your movies, man. Anytime you in there, man, I'll be like, this nigga here crazy like me. He gotta be crazy. <laughs> this in real life. He ain't acting. You know. I watched one last night and I didn't even know you were gonna be in there. Which one was it? It was um She Hoop with um, oh, with, with, uh, Nick with, Cannon with Nick. and yeah, Chris Nick, Rowe yeah. was in there and stuff like that. I was yeah. like, look at him. It's, it, yeah, Nick it, it's couples together. retreat for me, my nigga. Period. Well, that's Bora Bora. We filmed that. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was, that was, Ooh, that was the good. I, I, I loved it, bro. Like, oh, uh, we yeah, to be to be a part of that is awesome. Yeah, it gotta be. Yeah, that's why we were out there when Obama was um, elected. Okay. So it was me and. Um, God damn it. Um, what's her name? She played my um, ex-wife. She oh, was, yeah, the one that was on Sisters. She don't talk shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I she know She directs on exactly. um, BMF right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. For real? She's a producer on it, too. She um, beast mode. She, she gonna be I'm awesome. picturing her face right now. I think she don't talk so much shit. I'm Did she have old. a twin sister? Yes, she yeah. does. Hell yeah. Um, she Tasha? does. Tasha yeah, Tasha. Tasha. Yeah, y'all so tripping. So me and Tasha out there. <laughs> it's, okay, is she exactly how she is on Tasha the show? Tasha crazy like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's been crazy. I love those she's personalities. She's never changed. She, she's the same old Tasha. Mm-hmm. She's crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. I love her. I love that She's been the same. I'll be a texter. So she's doing a great job directing because she was um, teaching acting and she I've seen her whole shit. Keep just going up. I've seen her whole shit. I'm but like I'm rooting for her. I mean she's she's That's awesome. Crazy. But uh, the thing I can say about it is you you know uh yeah, she she you really good at these parts about acting that husband that just left, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they just gets out of it. You know, you talked about that the other night. I'm like, oh, that nigga did that for real in the movie, so mm-hmm. let's keep coming back. <laughs> I was practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Your part actually fits like who you are, so it, did you have to prepare any for these, for them roles? Well, the, well it, it is and it's not. It's, I play a more square guy. Sure did, yeah. So I was playing more, I don't play it phase on, got a little more edge to it. Yeah. Because I'm like, pfft, pfft, Fuck yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like when she, I don't know, me and the director was like, I was like, he's like, well, what would you do if your wife left and you know, like, I'll let her go? You know, fuck. He's like, no, face on, we gotta go, we gotta, we gotta, you, you know, gotta act like we care. So he's like, she left, like, she's gone, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was that's. I gotta get her. I'm sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> he's more of a square guy, like. A, I try not to play him a black, is a, a person. Yeah, but you, and it's it's. I've been that guy, the one or two black guys, or the one black guy in, in in the midst of that whole the mm-hmm. white, the one black guy. He always get. It's just one, maybe mm-hmm. two, maybe two, but that's it. I've been that in corporate America, so when I see it, I can relate, man. Yeah, I mean, because you, they said that a, a black man in business is is. Either invisible or schizophrenic, mm-hmm. because um, we got to deal with. Hi, and I'm wholesome. Then we got to go home like, "What's up, nigga? We're all right." <laughs> <laughs> you got to deal with both sides of the fence. They start to deal with that side. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, but the Robin Harris uh, acting as Robin Harris, I wrote that down to ask you about oh, that. Man. The baby's kids, man. Yeah, how was that, man? It was awesome because um, the voice, right? Yeah, yeah, because they were planning to do a live version. Okay, and then Robin passed. Yeah, I remember that. And then um, Warrington, I talked to Warrington Hudlin, and then he was like, "Man, because uh, I was doing that in my act because I knew Robin." Yeah, mm-hmm. so I would tease Robin. You know, I was like, you gonna put me on, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody knew I. You knew the voice. Yeah, I. They, they knew I did it because I would. I be on stage teasing Robin with it, and um, that was you know that was one way 
of you know hanging with him on stage because he was a beast on stage. Yeah, like, yeah. Back then, you used to have to on stage with Robin Harris, Damon Wayne's, Keenan Ivory Wayne's, Robert Townsend, Martin Lawrence. Well, that's heavy talent. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Ricky Ricky Williams. I mean, Ricky Harris was funny as hell. Uh, that was that was just one night lineup. Yeah, you had to hang with that. <laughs> <laughs> that the, all those personalities, all in the same. Listen, they're all different. Everybody was different. Like even when you see Scruncho, mm -hmm. when you see um, Amber, Amber, they're all different. So that's that's why I like them. You yeah, know what I'm saying? People, yeah, so yeah. People gonna be like her. They gonna be like him. Um, and um, I got a few other people that I fuck with too. For sure. So so you change people all the time. Every time, whenever you well, travel? no, I, I normally keep them for a couple of years. But now we're gonna do a bigger tour. So. And um, and what it is is, it's not that much. People don't want to be in them seats that long. They got mm -hmm. a certain amount of time to laugh. Mm. If you if you drag it out, they're gonna be like, all right. But if you if you put different at? if you put different um acts and everybody's giving you something different and they keep me laughing, I'll sit sit in that seat for as long as some it people takes. will. But you yeah. know, when people are sitting in Japan. Oh, our people are. I don't know how you twenty six. Oh, that was I a good compliment, man. I'm talking about, yeah, and I'm not a hundred. I'm just going to say, I'm in my 40s. I'm just saying, I'm in my 40s. Yeah, I'm older than both of y'all. No. No. Well, y'all yeah, the same. By, by, by a couple of years. <laughs> you ain't well, getting the Go to bed. Here we go. He's my brother. <laughs> y'all go to bed now, goddammit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, that be that be the big brother deal right there. Y'all go to bed, goddammit. My brother is your age. Yeah. yeah, but that's your brother. I'm so old. <laughs> yeah, they try to jump me. Yeah, they try. Yeah, they try to come at me. You know, but uh, you know, yeah. yeah and I'm a little bitty dude. These niggas about six and eleven. Oh, the, uh, the short ones is the worst. <laughs> got a complex and oh, everything. Man, you got to fight these niggas all night. <laughs> they come. Well, just give it up. <laughs> you lost, man. You lost, man. Speaking of that. Uh, Cat Williams, man. We got to talk about Cat, man. <laughs> speaking, yeah, speaking, of, yeah, speaking of short and fighting and all this good stuff, yeah. So what's the deal with you and Cat Williams? I mean, uh, and Dave East. Oh, no. Um, Cat, uh, <laughs> y'all work well together. Um, <laughs> listen. I'm from a, 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 I'm a dinosaur. Mm. Okay. So, where we from, a nigga said that he's this, he better be that. Okay? All the weird shit, you, we gonna, we, we gonna, we gonna sniff it out. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That didn't, that didn't make sense. Cat, um, won't just be a comedian. He wants to be a gangster. He wants to be a pimp. He wants to, nigga. Let's listen to it. You got three jokes, nigga. This go on with that bullshit. Do, do you? You know. You know. And it, our shit came from and this word. And this is the last time I'm gonna say this because people will be all like, "We get that." Make sure you get it. <laughs> Um, our shit came from uh, us going trying to put a tour together, and um, him him thinking that I was not going to be funny. So, where Amber is, mm -hmm. he you know he's like okay I'm gonna put I'm gonna I'm say okay but. It, I'm, I'm okay, yeah, nigga. But I've been doing this before you, nigga. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I can tell you, I was on stage with Robin Harris, Damon Wayne's. We had to bring it. And what happened was, I was smashing him. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't follow me. For sure. So that's where it really came from. The honest, he was like, oh, so he thought he was gonna fuck with my money. I'm like, no, you're not gonna do that either. You're not gonna do that. 
<laughs> you're, not, you're not gonna do that. I will choke you, little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you see him got in a fight with a little kid. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't have a little boy. It was it was rough. It no, was going down. Boy, it was going down. down. That little boy took that hit. The nigga, really? <laughs> really, nigga? The boy looked at him like, huh? <laughs> that was a viral moment for sure. <laughs> and you know what's so funny when you're uh, when you work and you are good on core. He's a good. He will give you the shirt off his back. He gave you the shirt off his back. I mean, we we we're, we're in. Um, I think we're in L.A. I said, I think I'm buying me some shoes. So I'm at, I'm at the counter and I want to go get some. Shoes. No man, I, I got these. I, like, I can't let you buy me no shoes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I got these. So said, I got these. So he takes his shoes and buys the shoes. I'm like, man, I can't wear them shoes. You bought me some shoes, nigga. But that's the kind he of dude he is. Yeah. He means well, but there's something other gets in the way. Like, I don't hate the nigga. He, when he, even when he pulled the gun on me, we was like, wow. <laughs> Do you know these niggas will shoot you for real? What are you doing? <laughs> so, I, I remember that now what that you, you said. Doing? Then he got Suge involved, and Suge's like, he don't know. I like, I know he don't know. <laughs> he think, what, you think he gonna beat me up? Mm. She was like. So, I don't hate the dude, I have no, you know what I'm saying? It's just that one, that incident where he pulled a strap out of me, I was gonna, it was, it was, it got bad, cause I was like, don't That's you ever do That's something serious. That. That's serious. Don't you ever do that, yeah. nigga. You, yeah. you're, you're really endangering your life. For yeah. real. No, no, it's, it's go for what you know at that point. But I don't understand why people would even do that because one thing my daddy used to always say, if you're going to pull it, make better sure use you it. better use it. So, you know, pulling straps and try to frighten somebody or try to intimidate somebody, like, why? Because that works with his the people, the women he intimidates and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but a real, you know, me, I'm like, nigga, what, what do you, you, flame on, motherfucker, what do you mean? Right. What are you doing? <laughs> Dave East, I don't know, he's just a kid. I, I call myself saving his life. I'm like, bro, I saw you yeah, having two pop like you how how are you a crip? You know that's that's funny. You 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 think about it, a lot of people they this this I say they just be playing. You know, like like they I, are. I, I, I asked a question yesterday to one of my guests. I was like being from LA, how do you guys look at the Crips and the Bloods in the South? Or do y'all really take them serious? Or do or wherever else did, cause it come from well, Crips, LA. I'm, 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 this would be you. Crips are, you know, they're <laughs> Crips, the E-Riggets. They have their own thing. <laughs> what well, you know, the B-Dogs, you know, it's a whole different thing. You can't just, you, this ain't the Boy Scout. <laughs> you didn't grow up in my street. I know everybody lives where your mama lives. Your mama don't live where your mama lives. It's a territory thing. How can you do that when you're not in those areas? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to grow up on your street. You know, Ice Cube told you, like, die for a street that they didn't even heard of. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's like, that's the only thing. With the, I was just like, how is he? I was just trying to get some clarity. Of like, how is he a crib? I know earlier you spoke about Robin Williams, and I know Robin that Harris. Um, hmm? Robin Harris. Oh. Yeah, Robin Harris. Oh, Robin Williams died of a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. He he, yeah, okay. he committed suicide. Okay. It's a whole different. Okay, dude. well, let's talk about <laughs> Robin Williams. Okay, um, him being a comedian and um, passed away from you know mental illness and stuff like that. Um, how serious is it to, cause you know, comedians, they laugh a lot, even when they're going through stuff. Not really. No? No. I mean, no. Uh, in, in a congregation maybe, but most comedians are quiet. Like, that's how you can tell a bad comedian cause the quiet is like, you know what I'm saying? If you're in a, a green room and motherfuckers is quiet, then you got the one motherfucker go like, eh! <laughs> uh, he ain't gonna be shit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <sighs> but most, yeah, most, um, 
I don't know, the brilliant ones are, are, are it's not about jokey jokey uh, jokey 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 <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like the ones that I you know cause I just saw something wrong with me cause I, I saw things differently like you know I didn't see it from a jokey like most of my what you call jokes are not jokes they're just storylines from my life I right. think, and I can tell that. We remember we seen Will Ferrell, and he was quiet looking. And mm. oh, yeah. I'm like, this nigga don't look like that. I want to see the nigga do the thing. You know, what I, mean? I want to see he the nigga. He was so serious. I'm when like, we this nigga ain't that the one. I, I want to, you know, it's like a dog in a cage. You just trying to figure out a way to poke him and get him to react. But no. that's how but they people are when they back. watch you on TV and they see you. They think that that's how you are all the time. So when they mm. see you in person, that's what they think they're gonna get. No, listen, I work with the great. Wesley Snipes. Yeah, man. This summer. And um, this dude came up to him. He came, you know, and Wesley's a quiet dude. He's just studying. Most people are just studying. Mm-hmm. You know, just most artists are just studying people. Just study, you know, and, and Wesley was just, and I just, hey, <laughs> Nino Brown. <laughs> Nino, <laughs> oh, 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 Nino. <laughs> Wesley's like, that's the way it go down. That's not me, brother. That's a character I play. I, I read that character. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, uh, if you meet Mr. Snipes and then you meet Nino Brown, they're two different people. No, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and that's what people are wanting to go, do some karate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Blade, what's up, Blade? Blade? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a big worm, same thing. There it is. <laughs> but you see, when you're talking about the characters, I was watching um, a podcast the other day, and I think I was watching um, Pierre. Yeah, Pierre. yeah. Right, and the guy that was on there was the guy who came in Jamie Foxx show. Um, the, uh, the tall, yeah. yeah. What's his name? I don't even know. The, the tall, light skin one. What is his name on that? I don't um, he didn't have a main role, so I, I know. But he was talking about um, but he was when good. you go for auditions, um, because no matter how big you are, you still go for some auditions and so forth. And when you walk in to get audition, and if the the people who are there are calling you the character's name, he's like, that's the worst thing for him. It's different when you have like fans, you know, you're on the street and somebody come up to you and say, you know, big worm. But when you go in for audition and they call you big worm, when the part that you are auditioning for it might be a action oh, I know what or it might be something else he's saying that they're calling him by a past character's name right yeah. so yeah. they're already marking him off the list so to say because they're looking yeah. at you I, as I this comedian compared oh, to right. I tell them I don't do auditions you gotta how, do yeah, how, how, you, how you get down like when you get ready to get you, you, you gotta go you gotta call you no they gotta uh, first they gotta know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no auditions, motherfucker. You, you go to Netflix, or go, I send them Blockbuster. Go to Blockbuster, and you either think I can't it. read it or you think I can't act, pick one. But I'm not coming in your little room. And act out and, for you. And suck some cock. <laughs> I think when you're a vet in this, you don't have to. <laughs> some, of them, some, some of them want you to humble yourself. Okay. But I'm like, fuck that, I got stand-up. I'm not doing that bullshit. We had that talk last night, Rich, Rich because uh, like you say, when you, yeah, you like what? You do, you do a movie with this white boy who's never done anything, and they just cast him. Like, how the fuck he get that job? And you want me to audition? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Kick rocks. And then what happens is, you, if you're playing poker, they like hire the nigger. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's poker. It's a game. For sure. So it's like, um, part of my strategy was just telling people no. They, what do you mean no? I said no. I don't want to do it. Then they're like, <laughs> that's it. You got it. Well, how much will you do it for? <laughs> I said, I don't want to do that's it. That's that reverse psychology. That's that reverse psychology. That's really I what it is. I don't want to do it. And the more you say no is the higher the price goes up. That's good stuff. But now, because acting is not the same anymore the medium is the, different it's not the same it's not it, it's it's movies everywhere 
you know, your mm-hmm. phone, they in the bathroom. Yeah. They, you know, you don't even have to go to the movie theater. You just wait till you get it home and go click the, the movie. Yeah, a lot right of there. movies aren't even going to the movie theaters what? anymore. They're going to like Netflix, Netflix and, 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 all and of these, Roku and Amazon even, and stuff. They but, don't have to. But, but like, what about the guys like, like the, uh, you do have different people that's finding new ways and new lanes like the country, Wayne, and all those guys doing their thing. Um, is that the same? Do you guys have the same no, respect? No, he got a whole, no, that's some other bullshit. Um, somebody told me, uh, who told me he made, he made a bunch of money? I was like, I don't. On Facebook and Instagram, videos and all that, that yeah, paid he, money. He, he, he makes some good money. See, I know what residuals get. Okay. I get residuals. Mm-hmm. What I did in 92, you ain't getting no residuals from that shit. No, no, ain't nowhere, no, yeah. no. You just get paid I'm for what you get paid for now. From 92. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I don't know how that's going to work if when they start going, hey, dig it, do whatever he does. I'm like, what, do, what does he do? So I don't know. <laughs> it's like he got to get his money right now and then if something retire? goes wrong, retire or jump into something else that can, or I invest that money. Everybody going to but that Bitcoin it, and all that right now. He's the main guy doing that, but there's a lot of other ones, uh, you know, that's kind of following that whole trend. So that's a I whole new thing. That's what they keep saying, it, but I haven't seen nobody rich from it. He made a couple million from it. I don't know what he said, but I'm like, uh, people I know that do this are in Forbes. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> So they, it's like uh, it, there's a track record. Like, okay, no, this is a real check. Here's a real check, not like the we heard check. No, well, when you Google him, it it pops up. I know when they Google that, there's a lot of shit pop, pop up. up you know me, <laughs> you gonna pop up some, baby? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> there's a lot of shit pop up. <laughs> a lot of but I'm saying track it for real. Track it for yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you said, Bitcoin. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Bitcoin was once seventy thousand. Now it's sixty. Well, how much it really worth? Right. What is the re- what is the real worth of it? They've been trying to get me into Bitcoin for a minute. Listen, it? they when Bitcoin was a thousand dollars, I could have got. That's when you, and you just, didn't get. But it. I was like, "What the fuck is we, it?" That's <laughs> that's me. You tell me what it I is. Wanna, I, I need to guarantee it. It's a gamble. I know it's, it's, a, it's gamble. a gamble. They don't want to tell you it's a gamble. Everything you do is a gamble. But it's 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 it's, it's investing. In a ghost stock <laughs> that um, oil is on, always going to be oil. Mm-hmm. Uh, medicine is going to be medicine. Ham is going to be ham. It's going to vary, but it's going to always be there. AT and T, Coke, all these products are going to always be yeah. there. But when your product goes from forty thousand to seventy eight thousand. Up and down, then then, what is that? Mm-hmm. I and that's for one coin. I can't lose, man. I'm like, give them ten thousand to get in. I say, okay, no, to get in what? I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Like, it's you, serious. You're not point. even getting in. <laughs> I, I got the old men calling me saying we making uh-uh. a mil- mm-hmm. we making millions doing it. And, and he is told he, me, gonna, he told me, he say, if you give me ten in in, 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 in three a, days, it'll be thirty thousand. I say, are you no, serious? No, <laughs> I'm gonna get thirty. You know why? Because won't he just do it himself? <laughs> It was a guy sitting there. He was setting him up. We was well, in that house. I bet like, it was. Damn, I'm, I'm, all I need. Oh, 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 you said you can make fifteen million in twenty seconds. <laughs> if oh, I you, give you twenty, do I make sixty? No. no. It, because just, because he's doing. But that, that sounds too good to be true. And you live. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of dope people say they got cocaine over here for fifteen cents for a kilo? <laughs> Why are you telling me? <laughs> you supposed to be over there. You supposed to be over there. <laughs> what are you telling me for? No, who's in it? Have you, ever show, have you ever seen a football game? And the other player like, we about to run a 54 split. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling me your plays, my I'm going to do what? Okay. Oh, you want me to be rich too? Well, well, why don't you do me a favor? You take your money, invest it for me, and then when they make it, you just give, give me it, it. Since you want to give it away. It's a, it's, it's a new pyramid hustle. And that's what I hate. And that's I what hate everything, them. everything is all pyramid. Everything it's all, is all pyramid. I be hating them. But it's like, it's legal now. Because mm-hmm. you guys can create a, a, a Bitcoin yourself. You call it Boss Talk Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, it's it's up to 30,000. Whatever you're going to get, whatever you get 
people to believe in. That's what it becomes now. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't. It ain't the brick and mortar now. It's what you say because everything's invisible. Yeah. Like and that's saying, what they're saying. Country made way miss seventy million dollars. <laughs> that's what get in there. Cause they're saying paper money is gonna go away. It's been going away. Yeah, they say I, nobody's nobody, gonna use The value cash. is gone. It's it's been going away. <laughs> what are you talking about? You use credit cards. Yeah. You use debit cards. What, you know what I'm saying? I still love cash. Me too. We gotta use it. <laughs> We gotta use it. Yeah, yeah, y'all stunned though. See, that's the difference. Y'all pull it out. Yeah, I got money. But yeah, but what, you, got to, you got a card. It's, it's more. But it's what's something. gonna happen to those people who you know didn't trust the banks, didn't trust cards, and sticking money underneath their mattress? Mattress or in the, or what's in the gonna shoe happen box. to that? What do you mean? Because that money is still gonna have value. It's not gonna to have no you, value. You still, people buying gold. Gold's never gonna go anywhere. I know. <laughs> you buy gold and keep it. You know, there's other ways to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's not just uh, the banks. I mean, you know, see, I'm a poor guy, so I don't know any. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey man, all, all I, I know is you've been working a long time, bro. For free. <laughs> For free. Oh no, nah. ah, that dude oh, is something nah. else. For free. So what's okay? Out of all the film that you've ever done, which one you say, you would say is your favorite? Mine is a uh, um, made. Why? 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 Because it's the first film ever uh, written for me, um, and it started the whole Elf Couples Retreat. The same mm -hmm. writer, John Favreau, who's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's, you know, he's created Iron Man and the, mm -hmm. basically the Marvel world, all the Marvel movies. I thought Thank it was you old so man, much. The old guy. That's Stan. That's the guy who created the character. Character. The movies. Mm. The person who started Marvel films was Wesley Snipes. Mm. I seen that. I, I seen that. He was the first was, one. Yeah, it was Blade, Blade was the first character. Yeah. From that character came Spider Man. Because Marvel's stock was two dollars in, in 1996. They were going under, and Blade. Brought that shit back, and then they did Spider Man and created Marvel Studios, and um, John did Iron Man, and it went from there. And that thing oh, now, I and love still, Marvel. It I makes watch a lot every of money. single movie. I love my, me some Marvel. Yeah, yeah. We have a new one coming. The Spider Man coming out. I morning. know. I yeah. can't wait. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask you about your the the, the blood. From New York, how does that happen? What do you mean? You you was you a blood, but you from New York. You Ooh. start yeah. They say you started your career of when you got initiated as a as a. Uh, well, first of all, no, 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 know. no. Yeah, you. Yeah, it was a. It was a. Are you gonna tell me? A guy sent me this question. He said, man, he he blood, but he he started in New York. I say, well, no. I thought they from L.A. How he end up no, over no. there? I, we I we used to go back and forth in New York. Okay, now that makes sense. Now, back yeah, back forth from New York. Because I see, talk about Dave East. I have, but family, I have family in New York. I used to live in the Bronx. Okay. I used to live in Harlem. But then we um, moved to California. We moved to California, San Diego, 72. I Damn, I, you were young and I was young too. I was only one, <laughs> nigga. You were five or four. 72, I was, yeah. You was five or four. Yeah. I rode a plane back from New York. And you remember all of that? I, had a, I used to have a picture of me on the plane eating a hot dog. Cause you ever heard of Rodney Alley Whippy? Rodney Alley Sounds Whippy. familiar. Oh my God. It good, sounds good. familiar. Rodney Alley Whippy represented Jack in the Box. He's a little black kid. He ate a hamburger. And they yes. said, Rodney, how I just was didn't that? know his name, but yeah. I looked just like him. So people was like, it's Rodney Alley Whippy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rodney Alley Whippy. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, <laughs> I remember that as a kid, but uh, yeah, my family going back and forth. Back and forth. Military. Uh, military. Well, uh, it was just my mom and my father, and then my uncle and my aunt, when my aunt just passed, um, they didn't have no kids. Okay. So my mother, you know, trying to, they were trying to, you know, establish something. It was easy for me to stay there with them. They were like babysitters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, for six months I'd be in New York, then I'd come back, and I got used to it. I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go back to New York. 
So I was in New York when all this shit began. Ooh, Ooh, this. That was a good time. Were you doing all that break dancing? Yeah, no. you were doing no, you did a little bit. You yeah. had to do a little I a, bit. I was a DJ. Oh, oh, so that got you out of it. I was that in the But yeah. DJ still got to do all of oh, that. Oh, no. I, had I, was, K, I challenged KL, KL from uh, Beach KLC? by the Pound. Mm-hmm. We were about to do it in here. I, this flow right here, I said, nigga, you can't. Oh, no, no. I was. I, I seen, was about to go in. I seen all that. I uh, couldn't get up. Yeah, I would have been messed up. <laughs> when I, <laughs> I used to see all that. Nigga spin on the head. Oh, he broke his neck. I'm like, damn. <laughs> oh, it no. used to, you used to hear stuff like that. I ain't all right, break I, oh, they used to break parts. These boys was serious windmilling, hurt. Yeah, dudes, I was into it. Mean, I, I used to watch Crazy Legs. They're the professionals. The New yeah. York City no, it was some young niggas around that couldn't do it right. Down. I mean, I don't know, but <laughs> these, these niggas was getting down. Because in California, they wasn't doing that. No, it was just up on the, on the East Coast. Yeah, it was like, and they was the Pumas and all that shit. I was like, damn. Pumas, because we was wearing croker hats and yeah, you know, different uh, times. That's when they was doing the Kangol hats and stuff like the that. Kangol hats, yeah. right? The, the, yeah, the yeah. buckles with your name, mm-hmm. yeah, the yeah. big chains uh, and all the of that. big chain, everything. Yeah, that was um, b boy, the b boy, b boy time. So, when uh, I remember going back to New York when I was probably about fourteen, no thirteen, and I had a khaki. Cause we used to wear khaki suits. And they were like, man, why you dressed like the janitor? <laughs> Wait, Them what? khaki suits, boy. But I, was, I thought I was clean. They were like, you, so we went to. We talking about the dickies up? and all them. Back was it the, creased up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I oh, seen yeah. two kids in Atlanta. had, and I was so impressed. Oh, oh. They were from, like, uh, I think Detroit. I was like, dang, man, what they 13 just walking through the mall. I'm too uh, brown and, and that blue. that was not in Didn't we see that? Yeah, I remember I, that. I asked him, I said, man, y'all doing y'all thing. You're <laughs> Let me tell you. Worst parents I ever knew. <laughs> they smell from the they stand up on their own. The cr- yeah. <laughs> that was so crazy to me when I came here for the first time and I saw everybody doing creased up pants. And I'm like, you can actually hear the Oh, yeah, that's how you do and it. I'm like, military that is creases. so crazy. You do the shirt too. Get the military with the sh- Yeah, you want to, when you go to school, you ready to fight. You want to be like, you got to be ready. <laughs> We fight all day long. <laughs> Do you got any more questions? Yeah. So, um, how, how did you get your first role? Like when you got into acting for the first first. I time? think she want to act, bro, because she is really asking you some no, deep I questions. No, I want to know, like, Ooh, like, like, like how long did it take you to get that? Like, because I know a lot of actors be like, "Man, I've been doing this for so that's long." That's why I been telling you. Uh, Lil said that last week. He was like, yeah, he's I had been a doing slump. Lil Zane, Lil Zane, he was on here last week. Oh, he was like, um, he on he BMF. Was on BMF. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> He uh, said, <laughs> yeah, this is a marathon, not a not a track meet. So it ain't see the kids now that everybody wanna be famous, but it's like I've been telling Amber and them, it's like, yo, you gotta put the work in. It ain't all that one thing. I've my my I somebody dig up a, um my first television appearance at the Apollo was in nineteen eighty nine. Mm-hmm. And um it was, it was, I had, I tell everybody, um, back then people was in the streets, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, it was in the streets. And um, when they had, when they had picked me up, um, it was, it was one of those days where you wasn't doing nothing. You was just in the wrong place. Okay. At the right time. So they picked me up, beat me up, and <laughs> they go, um, what you doing over here? So I, I picked my partner up. We were actually going to see, um, God damn it, Eddie Murphy. You know, everybody was in the movie. Um, uh, you talking about Harlem Night? Harlem Night. Yes. Yeah. Right? So, so we're going to the movies. I'm bleeding and shit, motherfuckers. Handcuffs. <laughs> what the fuck is this, man? So, and back then, with the, how they would get you, they, they give you, you, you they, they mark the money, the buy yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. So they check your pockets and put, I got no buy money on me. But I got a pager on me, and which I still have to this day. Got a pager? Mm. Oh, yeah. So uh, you saved it? Ooh, I need, that's what I need. I, yeah, I thought I was a man back then. Oh, wow. Boy, you bring back memories. Still works. He don't know nothing about that. Them pages, so that's a whole nother level. That conversation leaving some people out. It's just me and you now. I had one. No, 
Oh, no, no way. No way. Hey, man, I, you, remember, you put, it was 304 for ho. I remember. It was, uh, you remember that? <laughs> you, I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, that's how we send stuff. 187. We, we had it going on. Yeah, y'all didn't get that. We you did nah, something. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Trust me. That's me and you. Oh, yeah, trust me. I was, <laughs> we thought we were doing it. See, I remember. I don't even remember. <laughs> we still go by the pay phone. Yeah, let me. I, I got to stop. <laughs> I remember the rotary phone. That's what I remember. Well, you buy, you bypassed it. That was after that. <laughs> <laughs> you just bypassed it, babe. No, that was a good time, though. Don't y'all yeah. never think. Y'all missed out on no, something. No, yeah. Maybe, oh, trust me. J and J, J and J Beepers. <laughs> I was out there on her and all, in Shreveport. I go down there and pay my bill. Oh man, I was the man. Oh, they yeah. knew me in there. Yeah. Oh, he get. I come to pay my bill. Sixty dollars bills. Oh yeah. yeah, I come through, man. Yeah. When it beeped, nigga, I ain't had no phone. We had the big brick phone. It didn't work. It was in I the Cadillac. Yeah, I never. It was in the Cadillac, but it didn't work. Nah, I never. You know what I'm <laughs> I had that pager. <laughs> that pager, you stopped by the pay phone. See, they gone now. You don't got pay phone no well, more. When they gave me my property back, my pay, I was like, uh, what I was saying was, they could never say, I remember the judge saying, listen, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Because she asked me, said, well, what do you do for a living? I was like, I'm a comedian. <laughs> And he'd be like, this nigga, we don't know this nigga. I'm, like, I'm a comedian. She's like, you're a comedian? But I told her where, and she was like, no, oh, I've never seen you. She was like, but listen, I'm going to put you on probation for a year. And if you come back in my um, courtroom with the same charge, I'm going to give you the time this time plus this time. Oh, threat. Yeah. Right? Prom a promise. The next week, I went to go do Apollo. Mm. So when you see that clip, that's me going, hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> this was, that was my. Um, Punchline, that, that, was that was it. That was me going. Saying goodbye, goodbye to that. Yeah. Yeah. I call it fall or fly. Yeah. Like, okay. You, okay. This is, yeah. So it's me at the Apollo. Not in, 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 it was me and. Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, I've heard him talk about when he first went to Apollo. That was during that, was that time. Him. He was doing the joke about Mitch. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I heard. Yeah. 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 I, I can't let you get off this uh, platform. Well, uh, 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 hold on. No, uh, I mean, don't you cut me off. Top three comedians. You, saw, you just cut me off. Of all time. Wait a minute. Dead or alive. Top three comedians. I can't stand you. I'm finna <laughs> quit. I'm going to lead a damn podcast. You be here by yourself. <laughs> top three comedians. That's. That's so all hard time. because it's like there's so many different colors. That's like saying the any genre. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's, 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 but I'm saying it's, it's, it's a lot to choose from. It's a lot to choose from. Uh, it's the different types of comedy. Bill yeah, Cosby. No. Oh, you, a oh, Bill. Not it. look how he look like Bill. <laughs> Yeah. Coming in real hard. No, but it, that's not his number one. He just calling some names. No, but Bill could be his number one because I'm going to be honest yeah, with you. Bill, you don't know. Man, Bill, Bill, Bill went hard. From uh, You know I've watched we all the cartoons. We grew up watching him. Playing. No, no, you guys only saw a portion of Bill. You got to say, Richard Pryor wanted to be Bill Cosby. That's dope. Yeah. You know I never that? knew he that. No. I never knew that. He wanted to be Bill Cosby. His whole act was Bill Cosby's act. Really? He was still Bill Cosby stuff and going, look look, look at every documentary, <laughs> every book. You're going to have me going back and look. I, listen, I'm only going to tell you the facts. His whole, and it wasn't until Bill, Richard Pryor changed and said, okay, I got to be me. Because Bill, Richard Pryor was in Vegas mm -hmm. doing Bill Cosby. And um, he said, I think it was Frank Sinatra looked at him like, Fuck is this? And he and he and he left. He says, "No, I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta, I gotta be do me. me. I gotta be me." Because it was like, cause back then, you know, Frank Sinatra and them, they was this is the mob. Yeah, yeah. This is the mob. He's like, "Where you come with this bullshit from?" I thought this kid was funny. And when he left Vegas, he went to San Francisco and just became Richard Pryor. Started talking about Richard Pryor shit. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's that's why I say, um, if, if, if there's going to be any, it'd be Bill Cosby, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy. Only three. <laughs> <laughs> 
There it is. So the, that's your top three. There, there, there it is. Pick a top three here. Yeah. Okay. Those are the pioneers. Now, here, those, here's the deal. The you know, this is the last question that this man got to go. And you you took my scene right there for okay, me. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Friday. Um, just. Do you get tired of people asking you, is it going to be another Friday? And uh, Friday, uh, I don't know how they would do it now with all the stuff that's been changed. But do you, I know you get that question. They came out with Coming to America, too. So. Yeah, it was different. How'd you, do you think they did a good, good, good job? Mm -hmm. That's the, me and her debate. Mm -hmm. I like the new one. I like number one. You guys going to talk to the other comedians? Oh, they got it. Oh, did they? they? The police they showed up. When the police showed up, they got the hell up out of here. <laughs> like you <that>. said, no. <laughs> <laughs> they went in the car after that. That's why he moved over here. He's like, the nigga might know me. <laughs> <laughs> police showed up. Really? There he is right there. That's my partner. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, left. Yeah. <laughs> they got warrants. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't been well, thinking about that. The police gonna be here. <laughs> 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 they left. Well, let us go get in the car now. Um, Boss talk tripping. <laughs> you got the police in here. No, that was after last week. I said, well, I better start bringing. But these L.A. niggas come through here, man. I got to have something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He can't listen, man. I got to say this. He was here last time when they was here. Mm -hmm. But then he got his plate. Then he yeah, because I be cooking. She cooked for oh, him. Jamaican food. See, oh, yeah. I, I on the stove today. On the stove today. But if you had a later time to come in, I would have brought you a plate. She always do. It's not yeah. done yet. That's how we keep y'all coming back. We and, feed it's yeah, not, you. He see. had some. He had some. Everybody uh, ate that day, and 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 they left. But now, <laughs> today, <laughs> there's no ourselves. We going to eat. At, it's like we're we're like uh, we're good restaurant. Yeah. Good, good, we can but, tell you. You want Jamaican? I'll tell you what. My boy, right up the street. Jamaican, there's a Jamaican restaurant right by Improv that I always go to. Jamaican yeah, Gates Jamaican is right Gates. there. They, my partner owned it. Yeah, yeah. It's right by. It. It's right close to it. Right by. It. It's like right around the street, five minutes away. And then they do live music like on yeah. the weekend too. It's dope. We talking about like now because we. I know they, they got, got it right now. now. Right? No, they open right now. You could go over there right now. Are we gonna and there's another Jamaican spot right up the street. Yeah, my partner. So if you want partner. Jamaican food, if you want something else, you tell us what well, you want. We'll tell you where. Jamaican, just good Jamaican food. Yeah. Oh, no, good these food. are the two. These, these are the two best ones. Number one over I there. Believe me, I've been to New York. Everywhere I go, I got to go food. to one. Uh, that's uh. Sweet Georgia Brown. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, South uh, Dallas. Uh, look at him. Uh, uh, okay, okay, South I'm Dallas say, Cafe. South <laughs> Dallas Cafe. You like South Dallas, Dallas Cafe? cafe. Better than Sweet Georgia. I live here. I know, but what about uh uh uh? The chicken place over there, where they putting all that seasoning salt on. Oh, that's not really the oh, soul food. Rudy, yeah. yeah, that's not really the soul food. That line food. long as hell. Yeah. Unless you walk up to the window. Oh, but the chicken good. I love it. They, they hating on the city, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, that line long as hell, but that chicken good, man. I set up that. Yeah, they got me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know what you putting in that chicken. I go back over there and sit in that line with everybody else. I'm like, damn, this really? is that chicken, man. Huh? It used to be a mood. Oh yeah! God, oh. this nigga tripping, man. Are you serious? Won't be going there. Well, I guess that's it for me. <laughs> that probably what I'm. I don't know what I'm. There was a uh, <laughs> cracker barrel, and I was like, right next to the um, uh, funeral home. I was like, mm -mm. I can't go there. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Well, we got a spot here that used to be a, a veterinary place. It's a Mexican. It's a Mexican, food Mexican place restaurant, there. and we will not go there. Uh -huh. But a lot of people go there. A lot of people go there. That shop. <laughs> so about the Friday thing before you get off of here, man. So I mean, do you would you ever do another one? I don't. I mean, you know, it's, it's the pay was good. You got to. <laughs> he's like, he's like uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> that's I think that's the problem with a lot of it is um, people keep saying do it for the culture. I know we did it for the culture when we did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now uh, we got children. Do it for the children. It's like, it's like this, this. It's like you don't, you don't ever go to a McDonald's and be like, "Hey, man, uh, can I get a free McDonald's for the culture?" <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Where else does that work? It doesn't work. Hey, but can I get an iPhone for the culture? But do you think it would even be the same? It would no ways be the uh, same. Yeah, I'm not. Pressed, no, I'm not pressed to do it. I mean, they, 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 they got a lot. Of, it's a lot of ideas we could be doing. People, you know, it's, it's a lot of ideas. It's a lot of. We haven't, we haven't, we haven't even got a, a, a dope horror movie. We don't, yeah, we don't have a yeah. dope. You right. Western. Well, you had a few of them, but I don't know if they were Which dope. Didn't say I did one, didn't he? What was that one? Mm -hmm. They just had one on Netflix. Though, they yeah. 
the cr- <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's just like when you were younger and you used to watch all these westerns and certain movies and you just loved it. And Some now that you get older and you look on these shows, you're shiny. like, you're like, I love that why, movie. Why is the guns all shiny? Where, who vacuuming all? I want to see dust. And you, when you see a western, you have to feel it. Django. Like, that that rough around the edges. I was like, he this. watched Jane like, every, every day, single nigga. day for like, months. Oh, this is right here. For months. I said, this is it. Oh, that was the, I said, that's the oh greatest movie goodness. ever made. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that damn Django. God damn it, boy. It made it. It oh made my it. Oh, God. the one you got to talk She didn't want to watch it. I'm like, I got to see what? this again. Okay, when I watch a one movie, time, one time. I watch it one time, and years later on, and I watch it again. I can watch Django. He'll watch it all the Oh, me too. Me and you the same. I mean, I watched Sam, it. Samuel Jackson and Jay, all that whole was, Jamie man. did a good job too. Oh, Samuel yeah. did a good job. Jamie did yeah, Jay, awesome you job. Doctor did a good job. Jamie's the first cowboy, black cowboy from that played it like you know what I'm saying his from own Texas. way. And he's straight out of 30 minutes away from here, Terrell, yeah, Texas. Terrell, Terrell Texas. Texas. Oh, no, that boy problem, ready, man. Come on, that's my problem, Hey, listen, man. man. That, that that movie there? No, no, trust me. I that's Jamie what did was. Ray, and we was at his house. Oh, that's a bad oh, I one love too. Ray I was too. coming out of Universal, and I looked at it was a big thing that said Ray, <laughs> and I was like, I thought it was Ray. I yeah. was like, he looked. That's yeah. Jamie. So I went to his house that night, and I was like, Nick, you about to get an Oscar? You knew it when I saw the poster, because I thought it was Ray. He but did it was an Oscar. Jamie job. as Ray. Yeah, he killed that. I was like, he about to get a goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know this nigga just he started. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. His, his first day in comedy was in San Diego, a place called Smokies. We always talk about. It. Oh yeah. Oh Jamie, you know Jamie did comedy, right? Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Like like it ain't no tomorrow. I love it. This motherfucker used to do a joke about it. <laughs> his grandma. Was <laughs> Anybody walk like that got to have AIDS. <laughs> she thought everybody had AIDS. Anybody cough like that got to have AIDS. I mean, it, it was just, yeah, brilliant. I know Jane for a long, long time. Long time. Oh, you, you was at them parties. I heard about the parties. Oh, I yeah. never got to go oh, to yeah. one. Oh, yeah. But I heard they was off the chain. Yeah. Because yeah. his best friend lived down there and he would come into the shop because we used to have a shop we in had Terrell. A store in Terrell too. And he'll come in, in there and buy like a shirt and be like, Yeah, I'm going up here to go see Jamie. LA. I'm to like, Oh, yeah, nigga, good luck, man. God damn. You might see anybody at Jamie's house. Anybody. Anybody be there. But we've been going there since, you know. He, he has a great personality. Oh, no, he's a good dude. He just is he's solid. Mm-hmm. He's solid. We know him as Eric, right? Mm-hmm. Eric Bishop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Faison, yeah, that's the question I had. I didn't ask you, why'd you change the name? I didn't. Yo, your name, you had to. How you telling me about me? <laughs> I'm telling what the people that sent me. I, my partner say, yeah, that's why he changed the name. He wrong. Trill talk, so no peel talk. love is not your government name. Trill talk, my no peel talk. What is I your name? It. Oh, you shortened it. Okay, what is your okay, full you name? Okay, you ain't wrong, nigga. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to say. Yeah, I'm gonna, you'll say that coming to the stage, <laughs> <laughs> or just it's just long. You know, Richard Pryor's name ain't Richard Pryor. Yeah, no, y'all always change. That's when y'all hit y'all stardom. When you change the name, no, it's like, oh, there it is. When you see it gone. written now, it's like it's too fucking long. You want something it's memorable too, hard too for though. People to say that's what I be thinking. You want something catchy? Mm. No, it's just easier. Like I, I put my shit down to one. I, I, I didn't want love on there. I'm like, Ooh, but. I didn't want love on it. I just want to phase on it. That's it. Mm-hmm. Sinbad, I was like. <laughs> Sinbad. Who would you like to work with? You done work with everybody. Who haven't he worked with? Um, but that's why I'm asking. He know. Oh, man. Um, he just passed uh, Michael Williams. You would have wanted to work oh, with yeah, Michael he's, Williams. He's such a good, mm. such a, uh, and, um, Jeffrey Wright, you know who Jeffrey Wright is? I don't know who that is. Who, what did he, who did he play? Then we probably know. Uh, you ever see uh, Shaft? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm the guy who played the Puerto Rican. Okay, okay. Yeah, Jeffrey Wright, he's like a phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, there's a lot of And new what actors female would you like to work with? Female? Yeah, you're talking scene. about, you know, like in a, in a love scene. I've been huh. in love with Sally Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, that's just so sad. And never worked with her. 
Um, no, she just was always, um, no. Um, Do you think you could work with her? Sally Richardson? Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. The money, right? He gonna yeah. work with whoever. Believe it. No, you don't think I'd be too nervous? Yeah, that's what I was doing. No. <laughs> no. I worked with Beyonce before. That's heavy. Now, you know, she's from Houston now. That's heavy. Yeah. Beyonce? Yeah. I couldn't did that. Oh no! No, the money right. I probably would act. No, right. no. She, I was. I, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I was nervous. You was nervous. Yeah, I was about to say, who have um, you ever been nervous? They brought around? her into the witch call to meet me because, it was, um, and I was like, I was like, <clears throat> we, but Beyonce wants to meet you, and I was like, oh hey. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get it together? <laughs> we walked in. What did you say? You didn't stumble, did you? <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> 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 she was. She. She's so nice and beautiful. She's. Uh, she's. She's. She's just nice, and you know what I'm saying. She's. A, she's like. She's like a down home girl. Yeah, take so it. She was all. Like, Stop hey. playing. And I was like. Hi. <laughs> Hello, Beyonce. Did you ask yourself, did I do it right after you left? I was, did, I, did, I it, did I do it right? <laughs> I know how to ask. I'm like, did I do it? Damn, did I mess we, up? We was filming Fighting Temptation. I had this yeah, dumb yeah. ass wig on. And I was like, Hello, Beyonce. <laughs> nice. Nice. Then you act like you don't care. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> she was so nice and sweet. And I was like, you know, cause, um, yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, you know. That was one of the moments. I, the, you can't forget stuff like that. I'm writing something for now for me and Holly Berry. Are you? Mm. Yeah, I, I seen her on a movie, movie the other night, and I didn't like the movie, but my wife kept watching it. I think she Bruised. was. Bruised. Well, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. I was like, yeah. I want to see the old Holly. She. This she. The new Holly. Holly Berry is. Uh, she's an actress that goes for. Yeah, her first role was a crack at it. Yeah, yeah, I know it. So that's what she's. You know, she's going for the edge. And, you know, she's she goes. She's good at it. She goes for the edge because I watched it. I ain't gonna. I didn't turn she, it off. She'd be fighting and everything. That was a good movie. That's Edge. A lot of you know mm-hmm. a lot of actors. Something that you that. ain't really seen. Really, yeah, you yeah, haven't seen her do that nah. in a while. Yeah. She's giving yeah. it to you. Giving yeah, it to you. Give you another side of it. But so you writing gone. something out for you and her? I don't know if she gonna do it. Yeah, she might. You know what I'm saying? Speak it into existence. It gonna happen. I'm like, look here, baby. <laughs> You've been on the grind for a long time. She's going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, here, no problem. I it's do. time you have a real leading man. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to work um, together uh, with BAPS. Mm-hmm. And I was like, they, they was fucking around with the money on that one. I was like, look here, bro. You don't play about that money, do you? I don't make no money, so I got to get so you know, all you like, ones. See, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering if you had ever passed up on a role and that ended up being such a big movie that you're like, man, I shouldn't Damn, have I shouldn't have took that. Mm-mm. No? You knew already. Back then, you had to pick your movies because one bad movie, you fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you pick one movie, you Juana Man. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going to hear from this nigga. <laughs> What are you, my nigga? No. <laughs> you pick one. You just want a man. Oh, you want a man. Oh, nigga. Oh, nigga. You want a man? You know what I'm saying? So back then, it wasn't as. It, you had to pick the right thing to, to, you know, get the buzz and go, oh, shit, this guy was in this. And yeah. He's really, he's really. Now I don't make him. It's so hard to me when I when I see um, actors, because you know, like when you come in a very good movie and people love you as that character, and then you switch in genre of, you know, um, like say you switch from comedy to action, if people look at you like they just don't see you as that action person. They see you still as a comedian. Done both. Comedy. Yeah, he, he, he has, but then you have a lot of people, yeah. even like kid stars. People still look at some of them as children. That's why a lot of them haven't well, crossed of, over into the adulthood of They messed some of them up. I, look at how when it was a Smoulette, when he came into the play, mm-hmm. uh, the boy that played on Empire, uh, he 
Yeah, he fake like you talking you know, somebody, Jesse's yeah, mother. Yeah, that's him. Uh, it, yeah, y'all, yeah, look y'all. Look how he looking at you when you mention him. Look how he looking at you. But his sister is a dope <laughs> actress. I love his sister. His sister is a dope. <laughs> so, these, these actors are different. The, they different. The robbery. They different, man. Now, you know when you heard they that different. shit, you were like, this is some bullshit. Man, I said, this you is was different. at Subway at 2 in the morning in Chicago. In <laughs> Chicago, I said, I'd have been up there. You don't go nowhere at 2 in the morning. Hell no. <laughs> For a sandwich. I do it. I said, this can't be real, man. If this I know can't be I ain't going to have no sandwiches, I'm going to have sandwiches delivered in the daytime. Well, they mm-hmm. just they just decided that he was guilty. I decided it a long time ago. I, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come on, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Knock it off. Two in the morning. Two in the morning. Some Africans. African. At least it wasn't no Jamaican. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> say man, they you. say what 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 what? Why would I have a brother fucking in a boy? Say man, my team boy, you know what I'm saying? So man, where you headed next, man? I'm gonna let you out of here. Atlanta. You gonna head? Oh, I just, we just left. Mm-hmm. But that's the, I, I love it down there. I be going down there a lot because a brother live down there. Oh okay. I yeah. be stuck. I be like, yeah, this is it. This is what they say. This is where the melting pot is at. So I looked at that Tyler it's Perry Studio. Uh, uh, Tyler Perry Studio down there. Now we moving up in Atlanta. Uh, it's not a melting pot. It's just a studio. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, is it an Atlanta Comedy Club? You going? Uh, no, no, no. I'm just going there. I, I, you I, just going to hang out. I, I, I live down there. Oh, so you yeah. just, all y'all down there. No, that's yeah. why I didn't want to say it. <laughs> Everybody went to Atlanta. No, well, I, I moved because my daughter is in okay. Florida. Okay. That's close. And um, so Why didn't you just move to Florida? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that's even closer. I love, I love that's Miami. That's where her people be at. I love Fort Lauderdale. Her uncle down there. We were all in Humpstead. I got family down there. I will not live there. Would you live in Texas? Yes, fuck yeah. I would live Dallas in a minute. I've been, really? I think when my shit goes right, like I get a court with her, I'm going to go either. I, I didn't pick out I didn't pick out where I was at, university. Yeah, yeah. Right there by the college. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just get used to this, baby. You coming out through there? You going to yeah. go? I don't, I've it's been not looking. a bad place, man. We have we have a lot of not, and you can you can stay discreet. You don't have to be. Yeah. Hey, nobody knows People what you're doing. Yeah. Nobody cares, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Nobody cares. Yeah. You just going about your business. That's true. <laughs> My partner here. Everybody everybody is so everybody far. business here. Yeah, For everything sure. is so far. And For one sure. thing, if you come to Texas, you have to have a car. You have to be able to get around. Hey, we got a, a truck. Get a pickup. I love it. I got them. I be on it. That's yeah. why I didn't. I, that's why I couldn't understand how people live in New York. I'm like, dude, I could never do this. I like to roll. York, man, I be rolling, man. You get you. Uh, you're, you have some keys and car keys in New York. You toss them to the huts. Man, I drove from what <laughs> DC up to New York, and, and I and when I got there, I heard him took that damn car to that rental place. I said, I'm not for the drive here. These folks like this. Yeah. I can't do it, and bro. And the hotel rooms, let me tell you, like, no matter yes, how you much you can New pay York. for a really good hotel room, and it's like still this like... She got nowhere to go. See, you know... We always you stay know. in Manhattan. Yeah, but what hotels... Oh. We try to pick well, the newest ones and all that. You need to tell us which that. ones we got to go to gotta, because... You're going to have to pay. They're always... Because... So, they're always so small. The money we pay for that room, yeah. we can go anywhere else and get a huge room. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Chicago, we did we did pretty good. We went spent a lot of money. Yeah, by the water. But, oh good. yeah, Chicago oh. nice downtown. Oh, I'd be yeah. loving. I'm yeah. looking like we oh, did I the made it. down there. Oh, yeah, it was yeah, cool. Good, yeah. Yeah, but man, thank you for coming on the show, thank man. You for having me, Say, man. listen, man, when you come back to Dallas, I'm gonna try to get you again. See, he can do good interviews. See, mm-hmm. now I know where you're at. Hey, man, you can pull up here, and yeah. we've been here 15 years. Yeah, you know. I, you gotta now get you know we safe. Right. Now no, you know we good. I gave you the right address. That thing. I don't know how y'all put it in wrong. It yeah. Ain't no way that damn address nah. took y'all to Popeyes. Your Siri, Siri just wanted you to go to Popeyes. No, well. Oh, next time, just make sure the ox tails is right. <laughs> hey, hey, that's right. Hey, no thank way, you so I much, man. Right.